Hi, I'm Chad Hutchings, and this is how to use the librarian in the Axe Edge Editor app to import and export sound patch programs and tones from the Axe Edge. Now today I want to talk about the librarian on the Roland Axe Edge Editor app. So if you start the app, you'll see at the top of the screen there is a tab called Librarian. And if you tap on that tab, you'll see that in the Librarian screen, we already have a library file added called Axe Edge. And this is a special library because this library is an interface between your Axe Edge and the app. And you'll notice that just below where it says Axe Edge, you've got this list of slots that are numbered. And they are numbered the same way as the memory banks on the Axe Edge. So the first sound patch program on the Axe Edge will be in category zero, patch number one. And that on your Axe Edge is called 001. And here we have 001 in the slots. And if I go down a bit, you'll see that it goes all the way to 32. And then it goes to 101. And that's because on your Axe Edge, in category zero, you've got 32 slots, and then it goes to category one, which is lead, and that has 32 slots. And so you can see that that after 132 goes to 201, so you can see that these line up, all these slots line up with the categories and bank slots in your Axe Edge. And also notice that at the moment, all these slots have init program written next to the number. And that's because at the moment, they're all empty. So before we can save the programs or tones from the Axe Edge, we need to import them into this special Axe Edge library. And the way to do that is, say, if I want to import category zero, program one, that will be zero, zero, one. I'll just tap on zero, zero, one here. And then tap on read. And then this pop-up message appears and then you click on OK. And now once the program has been copied from your Axe Edge to the app, you'll see that now it says 001 and the name of the program. Now you don't have to do these one by one. Say if I want to do 02 to 05, I can just tap on each of them and then tap on read. and then tap on OK. And you'll see now that it's imported 002 to 005 all at once. And of course you can tap on all 320 and then tap on read. But do note that the more you import in one go, the longer it will take. Now that's some of the sound patch programs imported, but you can also import your user tones. So if you click on the drop list to the right of the word mode, 
where it currently says program and then tap on tone on the pop-up list you'll get to your user tone list on the X edge and once again it starts with 01 it runs all the way down and we've got 256 at the bottom there because you have 256 slots on your axe edge where you can put user tones and once again quite simply if you want to import a user tone to be saved click on the tone number and then tap on read then tap on OK on the pop-up message and once again you can tap on all of them and read them all in at once and once it's been imported the name of my user tone has now appeared in the slot 001 now when you've added all the programs and tones that you want to copy from your Axe Edge into the Axe Edge library file, you're going to want to save it to a new file. So to do this, tap on Save. Then tap on the File icon on the pop-up menu. And then tap on Save. And at this point, you want to type in a name for your library. So I'm just going to change this to Axe Edge Volume 1. And then you want to tap on OK. Now, once you've saved your library, if you want to import the tones or programs back into your Axe Edge or even into a different Axe Edge, you can open back up the file by tapping on open and then tapping on the file icon on the pop-up menu and then tap on the name of your library file which I just saved as Axe Edge Volume 1. And you'll see now that this has been opened up alongside the Axe Edge library file. And you can switch between the two by tapping on the tab. Now, if you want to import more programs or tones into this library, what you need to do is bring them in through the Axe Edge library. So first click on the Axe Edge library I'm going to go back to program. So if I now import, say, 007 from my Axe Edge into the Axe Edge library, so I'm going to click on 007 and click on read, then click on open on the pop up menu. So now I've imported. JP Fantasy lead from my Axe Edge into the Axe Edge library. And now to move it to my file, I need to click on Organize, then tap on 007 again, and then at the bottom of the screen, tap on Copy, and then tap on my saved library file which is my Axe Edge Volume 1 library file and now I can pick a slot and I don't actually need to pick 007 to put it into that slot there I could literally put it into any slot I like so say if I tap on 10 I can put it into slot 10 and to do that I just need to tap on paste at the bottom of the screen And now, JP Fantasy Lead has been imported into my saved library as 010. 
And once I've done adding more programs or tunes to my saved library file, I'll tap on done. And of course, because I've updated this saved library file, I need to make sure I've tapped on the save library file header. So it's highlighted and then tap on save. Tap on the file icon on the pop up menu. And then tap on save. And it's already got the name of my library as the file name. So I just click on OK. And then click on yes to overwrite the original file. Now, if I want to copy a program from the saved file back to the axe edge, I can do basically the same thing. So I click on organize and then click on the program in the saved file that I want to move. So let's do this JP Fantasy again and then click on copy and then tap on the Axe Edge library and then say if I want to move that to let's go with say 932 the last slot and then tap on paste that's now been added to the Axe Edge library and then I can click on done because I've finished moving my programs. And now to actually save it onto my Axe Edge, what I need to do is tap on, tap on the program again. And then at the top of the screen type, tap on write. And then it comes up and says, are you sure? At which point you then tap on OK. And then this program will be installed onto your Axe Edge. But do remember, it will overwrite the program that is already in that slot. So if you haven't already backed up that slot, you will lose that program. And in a similar fashion, if you want to move a tone, so I'm going to tap now back on my saved library and change back to tone. And then go back to the beginning where I saved my T B loop tone. So if I tap on organize, then tap on my T B loop tone, and then tap on copy. And then tap on the Axe Edge library, which brings up my list. And if I go down, say, and put this in, let's go for 130. So if I click on 130, I can then paste that to 130. And now 130 says TB loop. Now that's put it onto my Axe Edge editor app. And to get that now onto my Axe Edge, once again, I tap on done to finish my copying and pasting. And then I tap on 130 where I've stored the user tone. And then tap on write. And then once again, click on OK on the pop up. And now that tone has been copied to the user tone list on my Axe Edge. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.